Ready? Hello and welcome to Pageant Live. I am here with Amara Berry, Miss Rhode Island, World America. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for interviewing me. Of course. Well, thank you for having me here. You just directed the Mr. Rhode Island and Mr. Massachusetts United States pageant. How is directing? I have so much respect for my directors and every pageant director out there. And I want every pageant girl to go out and thank their director and maybe hug them next time they think about blowing up at them. It is a very difficult job and it's nonstop. Has anybody ever blown up on their directors before? Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I wouldn't imply that. I just think that we should definitely be extra nice to our directors. Absolutely. I mean, working with you so far, I see how hard you work and how dedicated you are to this pageant, so I'm really excited. So, how is it um, planning this whole pageant? Were there any challenges you had to overcome? So, male pageantry is a challenge in itself because we don't even know what to start with. Do I get the boys spray tan sponsors? Do they need makeup? Is it the same as when I get ready for a pageant? A lot of the things were the same and a lot of them were kind of different. So it was really cool getting to know these boys. I feel like we're a little family now. And tell me about Camp Sparkle. Camp Sparkle is a STEM camp for minorities and underserved youth in Rhode Island and in Massachusetts. And we're really excited because the event today made it possible for over 80 students to attend Camp Sparkle for free this summer. We raised enough money for that many kids. That is so awesome. So what was your favorite part about the pageant tonight? Oh my gosh, you know, crowning was probably my favorite part of the pageant. There was a lot of suspense. The judges checked the scores at least three times because it was so close. And we were really lucky to have such a big class for our first year and have it be so close. So tell us a little bit about what are these guys going to do now? Well, we're going to tell the boys to get a good night's rest and expect a call from us on Monday. They'll be appearing on local media, they'll be starting their interview prep, they'll be meeting all their sponsors, and we have a whole program for them. Their work is just getting started. That is so exciting. So today we saw a little bit of swimsuit, we saw some evening wear, an onstage question. What else goes into the competition? There is a private interview, and a big part of their score is community service. Just like how Miss World America has beauty with a purpose, um, a big part of what you do um, as a title holder factors into how the judges evaluate you. So we want our guys to really be involved in their communities. Awesome. So for the guys out there that are on the line about competing in a pageant, what would you say to them? Do it. I'd say do it. I'd say there's nothing you have to lose and you will gain so much from it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for this interview, Amara. Thank you so much, Lisa.